Dear God, sometimes I wonder why I even try. You want to know what the definition of a bogus Fujifilm X-T4 video review is? <clears throat> it's comprised of two parts of ignorance and a heaping smattering of user error. So let's actually get technical. Let's leave out opinions and feelings and beliefs or any sort of personal convictions and let's just talk facts. Let's talk about a two-part issue of a faulty Fujifilm X-T4 review. Or what I should specifically say, a bogus X-T4 review. Here's the X-T4, here's my X-T4. Since I can actually say, and this is one of the great things about writing uh, the book, that I can actually say that I, I wrote the book on Fujifilm, which of course I have. <clears throat> Let's uh, get to the facts. First off, you used, and I got a screen grab of the card that you used. And not only is this card a piece of garbage and slower than a constipated turtle, it's also not the card recommended by Fujifilm for you to use. Here we go. Yeah, there's the card that you used right there, that crappy little card. And this is a screen grab. I know you can't see it, but you can actually download it. These are all the recommended SD cards you're supposed to use. Yeah, for uh, high-end 4K uh, plus uh, video recording. And that card's not listed. No, it's not. People also, too, don't seem to realize that when you actually use an inferior, slow, crappy card, yeah, and this is the definition of an inferior, slow, crappy card right there, you end up with a bottleneck, and bottlenecks create friction, and friction causes heat. This is not my opinion. It's a fact. So when you complained about this, and this is the card that you used, yeah, I'm looking at it right here. When you complain about a, a video recording issue to both cards when you're using a card that is one, not recommended, and two, piece of garbage, number three, slower than a constipated turtle. You know, I don't even know of a single person using PNY SD cards in their camera. That would kind of be like, I don't know, sticking in, uh, I don't know, fuzzy dice and um, inferior uh, uh, water... Uh, ruined gasoline in your Lamborghini. It, it, you're just not supposed to do that. Also, too, let's talk about this exposure flickering that you're encountering. Now, I know since you said it yourself that you're using the 35mm 1.4, the 23mm 1.4, this, the 56mm F1.2. And um, what was the other one? It was another really slow. All those lenses are old, and these lenses are not optimally designed for video use. Now, this is not a Fujifilm problem, no girlfriend. It would be like me complaining about autofocus speed using a D-series autofocus Nikkor lens on a Nikon D5 or a Nikon D6. You see, the way it works, and you may not realize this, and I'm talking to both the, the folks watching this video and to the YouTuber that doesn't actually know how to use a camera, is that every camera company has this issue. Sony has it, Fujifilm has it, Canon has it, Nikon has it. It's a ubiquitous problem. It's not really a problem. Every camera company uses no less than five different types of autofocus systems. There's stepper motors, there's little uh, silent wave motors, there's micro silent wave motors, there's linear motors. There's a lot of different autofocus mechanisms that are used to drive the driven elements for focusing lenses. Now this is a much more modern lens, not super modern, it's the 18 to 55 2.8. Now this is actually a, a lens that is designed for video on the Fujifilm X-T4. Now if someone said, and there have been YouTubers say stupid stuff like this, well, I stuck so-and-so lens on my Nikon D5 and it just wasn't fast. That means the Nikon, I mean, that, that's, that is as stupid as some uh, mental midget brain dead fools sticking uh wheels made out of gummy bears on their lamborghini and say well my my lamborghini this lamborghini is just not fast at all so you got gummer ba gummy gummy bear wheels on the actual lamborghini that's why it doesn't go fast when you use this lens and i understand why anybody would want to use the 56 millimeter one too so you could actually blur out the background the fort and yeah nice shallow depth of field. This lens, as wonderful as it is, and it's designed for portraiture photography, this is not a video lens. This is not a video lens. So when you stick this lens in the 35 millimeter 1.4 and a 23 millimeter 1.4, those are old design lenses. They're not meant to be used for video on your Fujifilm X-T4. <clears throat> User error. User error. 
This is explicit user error. So it says, and I don't work for Fujifilm. I don't sell anything. I mean, I do not work for Fujifilm at all. I mean, what do I give a damn? I don't sell any of this stuff. And I read all the comments below the video. Well, this proves it. This is a very honest review. Obviously, this X-T4 Fujifilm camera, it just doesn't have the specific... I was thinking about buying an X-T4 camera. But, you know, your your review is uh, turned... Well, I mean, like I said, I don't sell anything. The point is, folks, that is what we call a bogus X-T4 review. I don't give a damn how anybody rates a camera, and I don't work for Fujifilm. I'm sure they're probably going to see this video and do a facepalm that I did it at all. But that is a bogus review. You use the wrong SD card. You use a card that is not only garbage and slow and not recommended by Fuji because... You know, last I recall, you should probably read what Fuji said you should use. And, you know, just use a 300 megabit per second UHS-2 sand disk card, for God's sakes. Yeah, why the hell, like I said, is a screen grab? Why the hell were you using this, this turd muffin of an SD card? Oh, it's a PNY. I mean, give me a break. Literally, the, the, the I mean, this is like Walgreens level... SD card. Now, now I know it's 256 gig, but that doesn't change the fact that it's a crappy card. PNY is junk. I don't know any, prof there's not a single professional photographer. I kid you not that's using PNY SD cards in their camera. Not even one. They're at least using a Lexar, which is still not much better, but well, it actually is better. But I mean, she, for God's sakes. And this lens, well, in my X-T4 Fujifilm camera, I had exposure stepping when I was and the autofocus was not that fast. It's just because you were using this old lens. Nikon has the exact same issue. So does Canon. You know, if I made a video review of the Nikon D5 or Nikon D6, and I stuck a screw drive AFD lens on it, and it's like, this camera's not that fast. I can't recommend this camera. People out there that have half a brain about how photography gear works, well, what the hell are you doing? You got like a slow old screwdriver lens on the Nikon D5 or Nikon D6. Of course it doesn't autofocus fast. It can't. This lens and the 23mm 1.4 and the 35mm 1.4 and the uh, 16mm 1.4 and the 14mm 2.8 and a few other lenses like the 60mm. Those are not lenses for video. It's like, well, it should be fast. You know, I can mount this lens on the X-T4. That's right, you can. But these lenses are not designed, when they were designed, quite a long time ago for Fuji. They're not designed for video. They're not optimal. You want a video? List? This is where Fuji, and I, I mentioned this in a video like two weeks ago, made a mistake. They should actually have on their website, and they don't, <clears throat> that, hey, you know, these are great lenses, but these lenses are not, and I have this in my book. I say in, I say in my book, and I, I have every Fuji film. I, I say specifically, beside each lens, it should not... It says, not for video use. This lens, as awesome as it is, it's for photography, it's 56.12. For example, it's not designed for video use. Do you feel me, girlfriend? Do you feel me? So what we have here, folks, is a bogus X-T4 review. It's not my opinion that it's bogus. It is factually, empirically, and palpably a bogus X-T4 Fujifilm review. Because you use the wrong SD card, you use the slow, crappy SD card, and you use the wrong lenses for evaluation of your specious conclusions of video autofocus using lenses that are not designed for video. <laughs> was that too over the top? Was, was it too over the top? Was I being a bit of a prick? Or was I being factually and empirically and objectively valid, honest, and righteously so. Correct. Maybe all of the above are true. Yes, I'm pretty sure that maybe all of the above are true. I don't like you, you're mean. Yes, but the real question is, am I right? That's not mean, you, you've, never, you've never seen me be mean. You've never seen me be mean. But yes, that was a bogus XT4 review. Flat out, balls out, bogus. And you got these people in the comment section. Oh my god, this is good. This is such a fair review of the XT4. It's like, no, it wasn't. It was explicitly a hardcore um, flick 
of uh, explicit user error, and uh, I rest my case. Mic drop. Oi.